What's going on guys? Casey here and today we're going to be taking a look at this little guy. So this frame is the ELF 88. Right now I'm running the Omnibus F3 uh, flight controller and ESC all in one board from Banggood. Um, this board is pretty nice. I'm going to be showing you guys my pads. I'm going to be doing showing you some flight footage with stock pads and my pids, what, what I have found to be a lot better than the stock pids. Um, but first, let's just go over some of the parts. Uh, everything that took to build this quad, uh, links will be in the description if you guys feel you need to get a really tiny 2 inch quad out there that's pretty lightweight and durable. You can go ahead. Alright, so we got the Crazy Pony 1103 10,000 kV motors. Got these guys on Amazon about sometime last year or so. I have the Bull Clash F02. It's the micro camera and the separated VTX. It's a really nice plug and play system. No soldering necessary. Um, only from the VTX to your 5 volt. Uh, back on the board on your flight controller so that's awesome the camera just plugs right in I don't know if you can see that I'll give you some close-up shots camera plugs right into the VTX um, it's really nice I love it there's also a little button on the back of the camera that allows you to flip the image so I believe stock it comes with the connector facing downward and I designed this little mount for the camera and also a mount inside here for the VTX and I didn't want that connector facing downward so I just you know you power it up press that button it flips the image on the camera and uh, you can mount it however you want so that's awesome I have a tiny FR Sky receiver in here I don't remember the exact name of it but um, I think it's like the XMR receiver or something I, I it does PPM and S bus and it's from Banggood and there's gonna be a link in the description uh, what else I got rid of the little whip antenna and I put on one of these omnidirectional way better signal and it actually I fed it through this hole it was a pain to get that soldered on but it's really <laughs> it's really good really good um, these props I, oh, I've had these things for a while now these are just some regular old I think they're beta FPV props, the uh, five blade. They're pretty nice, you know. I've crashed. They just bend, you know. You bend them back in place, and if you get like a really hard crash, they're gonna break, obviously. But you know, crashing onto like grass or dirt or something, that's not so bad. Okay, so oh, and also this board, this flight controller and ESC. It can only handle 1S batteries, so don't go plugging a 2S into it or else you're just going to fry everything. Um, if you do have 1S high voltage batteries, that will work. I did use one of these guys on there just to test it out on these beta FPV uh, 4.35 batteries that, that we all use to fly our tiny loops. I used one of these and the board was fine. No magic smoke. Um, if you know you're definitely going to want to get some good batteries if you if you do plan on ever building a 1S quad for whatever reason. I mean, I had a bunch, actually I have a bunch of Turnigy Nanotech batteries laying around and some of them are brand new, never flown and they're starting to puff so I decided let me build this guy and get some life out of those batteries and uh, it's it's definitely not the best because those batteries are really old and they're only 25C, so 25 to 50, so I'm not getting any sort of power right there. You know, I know my LiPo's got some higher C rating batteries, um, G and B, what's the other one? Uh, Bold Clash, yeah, Bold Clash also has some batteries that are, I think they're like 80C. I've been uh, trying to get some, but I can't seem to find any in the U.S. But um, definitely get some high C rating batteries. Even it, they don't have to be HV. You can just get regular 1S batteries. And um, once you know they're like 50 C and up, then you're good. But nothing that's like 25, 35. It's it's you're just not gonna have as much fun. I mean, 
I push those batteries and, you know, ha like 30 minutes, I mean 30 seconds into the flight I can already feel sag, but these are also like two year old batteries, so that really sucks. But nevertheless, I'm going to be showing you guys the, my, uh, my PIDs and some flight footage on stock PIDs and then my PIDs. I'm also going to be showing you, you know, like the whole setup. These smaller quads, they I have a bunch of them, and I realize, you know, when you punch out, cut throttle, you're soaring down, you hit the throttle, there is so much prop wash that the quad doesn't have enough time to catch itself, and you end up just crashing into the ground. <laughs> yeah, so, you know, in this guy, I kind of, it's also my batteries that's causing that, but I've kind of balanced it out in my opinion there it flies incredibly smooth and f from what I've seen you know versus the stock pids and my pids it, it flies a lot better there's no prop wash you know like there's very little prop wash when you when you're just banking a corner you you cut your throttle a little bit and then you blast it back up there's no prop wash there um, but yeah Overall, this uh, this flight control board, it's not too bad, you know, it's got a built-in OSD, it's got, I believe it's it's a 5 amp 4-in-1 ESC, yep, it's 5 amp uh, burst up to 6 amps, I've crashed a bunch of times and no problems with the board or the ESCs not working, everything just yeah, you know, I, I would say it's a good board for what it's for what you're paying for. I do wish it came with like a twenty by twenty mount instead of sixteen by sixteen because what I had to do was I pretty much just uh sticky three M sticky tape mounted it. So that sucks. There's also gonna be links to the camera and VTX mount. Those are gonna be up on Thingiverse. All right, so let's get into that flight footage and the PIDs. Okay, guys, we're going to pop open beta flight and let me get it. Plug your board in. Let's see what we're working with here. All right. Let's go. Actually, let me touch a little bit on configuration. So I was running D Shot 150 at first, and um, just because I wanted turtle mode nothing else not even the ESC beeper mode because these motors are so small you can barely hear them but you know if you want it you, you can go ahead and do it um, I, I swapped up to 300 to see if it would improve the flight see if it would help with the the, the low throttle to high throttle oscillation uh, prop wash I was getting you know I bumped this from four from four up to 13 without changing anything else and it does I don't know you know it helps it helps a little bit so that's good right there I do have I am running where is it 4k 4k um, I do have air mode on anti-gravity and dynamic filter so now let's head over to the PIDs and is this oh yeah that is it so at first, you know, I had these way higher, like just crazy high. I think I had it at like 130 and 120. This guy was up to 70. This is like 85. But I was getting like crazy oscillations. So of course, I started to dial it down slow, slower and slower and slower until I came around to these numbers, which has been flying really good, you know you get some nice sharp turns you can uh, smooth your flight out there's not as much prop wash oscillation um, yeah it, it, it just flies a lot better and also I did bump up the the set point weight and also anti-gravity gain because I did notice a little bit of movement in the nose when you full throttle out cut throttle you know it, it was it was doing it you'll see it in the let me see if they actually changed all that stuff too. Oh yeah, they do. So you'll see it when I swap from profile two. Well, profile two is going to be stock pids, and profile one is going to be my pids. You'll see it. 
if you want to pause, go ahead and do that. And uh, let me just get you guys see that really good right there. Um, if you want to try this out in your Elf 88, you can go ahead. I don't know if these pigs will work for any other micro quad. So be careful. If you want to do it, make sure you check your motors, see if they're hot, see if they're warm. Personally, these motors didn't even get warm. And it was hot out. It, it's like 80 degrees out here. And these motors were completely cold. After, I want to say about two and a half minutes of flight, they were completely cold. So, hey, I, I guess I can go higher? <laughs> I don't think so. But, yeah, here it is. Let's get into that fight footage. For some reason, I had a lot of difficulty getting a... Uh, good flight with the uh, stock bids and that is because of the horrible batteries I was using and the oscillations I, were, I was getting from every time I would make a turn cut my throttle a little bit and try to bump back on it the quad would just shake itself and hit the ground and you'll see that happen a lot but um as you can see even on turns there was like this weird sort of oscillation and that is it's definitely not flyable you know the nose was also bouncing up and down definitely just not flyable at all for me now in the in the good footage you'll see that even though the new pids are in there's still a little bit of oscillation but not that much and even at the end you'll see I try to um catch the gate right at the right at the last second I come over the wall but that's because my batteries suck and they don't have a high discharge to give me that boost that I need and you know from ripping through that pack pretty fast um, going around the whole house it was already drained but that's pretty much it you know if if this if this was helpful and you guys think these pids will work for you then give them a shot let me know like subscribe and uh, if you if you know of any way of completely getting rid of all oscillations, please do help me out. Alright, happy flying guys.